Hi, my name is Moshe Ben Simon, and I am the PM for the 40 Deceptor product. Join me, Julian Peterson, our SAP security expert. This video will demonstrate how 40 Deceptor protect SAP infrastructure from cyber attacks and leverage the Fortinet fabric to automate threat mitigation and isolation response. Protecting business critical data is getting more and more complex and relevant in today's world. SAP is among the world's largest software companies with some of 92% of the four's global 2000 using at least some of their enterprise application solution. Most of these companies will deploy SAP HANA in the cloud, either public or private. This shift expands the threats landscape and the attack vector against SAP systems. In April 2021, SAP released a threat report regarding active cyber attacks on mission critical SAP applications. Within about 72 hours after the release of an SAP security update, they noticed publicly available exploit targeting public exposed SAP systems. With the complexity and criticality of SAP system, it's not possible to install the necessary software update within the given time. 4D Deceptor is the only solution that can improve the threat detection for SAP over the public or private cloud, and also at the endpoint level using a single pane of glass. The business benefit of using 4D Deceptor to protect SAP system are very clear. Ease of deployment with minimal maintenance footprint, a passive solution that does not require any network topology changes, and it's also agentless, high fidelity alert with the ability to automate a mitigation response, and the most important one, attack detection early in the kill chain to reduce the dwell time. For the purpose of this video, we built an enterprise network with real SAP system and 40 Deceptor deployment as well. 40 Deceptor deploys Deception Decoy and Lure across the network to detect cyber attacks. As part of the 40 Deceptor deployment, we deploy SAP Deception Decoy on the infrastructure level and SAP Deception tokens on the real endpoint and servers. The attack vector in this video will demonstrate the effectiveness of 40 Deceptor against sophisticated attack looking at the compromised high value asset like SAP systems. The threat actor will compromise an internal endpoint and start the reconnaissance phase by collecting intelligence from the compromised desktop on the network using OS and networking commands. During the reconnaissance phase, the threat actor will notice that the compromised endpoint is connected to SAP application. The threat actor will navigate to the SAP client installation on the compromised desktop to find configuration file that will provide more information on the SAP infrastructure. The SAP client installation directory will contain real and fake configuration files. The fake configuration files will contain similar data to the real configuration, but with different IP addresses that will deceive the attacker into engaging with SAP server decoys and not the real SAP servers and detect the attacker early in the kill chain. The 40 Deceptor SAP decoys offering includes SAP Router, SAP Dispatcher, SAP ISM, and SAP HANA Web UI, providing full coverage for the whole SAP system components. I am handing it over to our SAP expert, Mr. Julian Peterson, who will run the attack simulation demo. As an initial attack vector, the user has received a spear phishing email, which appears to have been sent by the local IT department, asking him to install an important security update on his PC. The user has already downloaded the malicious security update and directly starts the installation. As no installation wizard or something similar pops up, the user assumes that the update installation was successfully and continues with his normal work. Now let's switch to the perspective of the attacker. You can see that the critical security update did its job and provided the attacker with a backdoor to the PC of the user. The attacker now starts some basic enumeration steps to find further attack backdoors.
While checking the list of active processes on the user's PC, the attacker detected a process from SAP GUI running by the user on the PC. As a next step, the attacker checked for any active connections to SAP systems from the client with the netstat command. After a quick look, he detected a connection to 192.168.230.30 which is in another subnet than the client resides. Before moving on attacking the newly detected systems, the attacker extract user credentials with the hash dump command and attempt to crack them to be able to reuse them for lateral movement within the corporate environment. As the attacker was able to crack the user password, he will move on with the enumeration of SAP GUI. SAP GUI stores its configuration files within the user directory, which the attacker is able to access. Within the configuration file, the attacker found an additional SAP server entry, which is located within the same subnet as the previous found subserver. To be able to attack these systems, the attacker is setting up a network route, which will send traffic through the backdoor on the PC to the target. As a next step, the attacker starts scanning for services on the newly detected SAP systems. The scan returned various open ports like 3299, which is the default port for SAP router, or 3200, which is one of the default ports for the SAP dispatcher. SAP router offers an easy attack vector to provide further network information, like its route table, which can be dumped with another module in Metasploit. The attacker successfully connected to the SAP router service, but there were no active connections with which would leak additional SAP systems or services. As there were also other services available like HTTP, for example, the attacker set up the SOX proxy module within Metasploit to tunnel HTTP connections into the target's network. After starting the service, the attacker enabled the proxy connection in the browser and is now able to open the SAP Fiori launchpad of the SAP system. Now the attacker tries some well-known SAP default credentials for the user like SAP star with the password PASS or for the user DDIC with the password 1992-0706. In addition to that, the attacker will also try the crack credentials from the Windows user account found previously. With these credentials, the attacker could successfully log in to the SAP Fiori launchpad, where he is now able to access critical internal data. As the attacker successfully compromised the SAP system, let's switch back to 40 Deceptor Manager and have a closer look at the incidents and events which got captured by the decoy. The 40 Deceptor Manager dashboard provides you with a high-level overview of the current incidents, deployed decoys and services, and some additional health information of 40 Deceptor itself. You will notice at the top right corner that the bell is showing a bunch of new incidents and events. Let's move on and have a more detailed look at those incidents and events. As you can see, there are a bunch of new events with various severities. The first events around the time of 10.45 were the port scan from the attacker to find some vulnerable services. After this, the attacker tried to get information from the SAP router. The traffic of this attack got captured and the communication is provided to us so that we are able to follow each step of the attack. After attacking the SAP router, the attacker switched over to port 80, where he tried various credentials 
to log in to the SAP Fiori Launchpad. With the user Ricky, he could successfully log in also for those events. Forti Deceptor provides us with a network traffic capture for further analysis and a detailed timeline which steps the attacker did. Let me provide a short summary. Forti Deceptor provides SAP decoys which can mislead and capture threat actors targeting SAP landscapes. The SAP decoys provide a bunch of SAP services like SAP Router, SAP Dispatcher, SAP Fiori Launchpad and SAP Web GUI. With Forti Deceptor we were able to follow all the steps the attacker did to attack the internal SAP environment. In addition to that, Forti Deceptor provided additional details like a traffic capture for further analysis, mitigation recommendations and an attack timeline which offers clear and detailed insights into tactics, techniques and procedures used by the attacker. As a next step, Forti Deceptor would be able to trigger automated actions within the Fortinet security fabric to, for example, lock the attacker out of the network and prevent further attacks. Thank you for watching the video.